I really think of myself as a landscape painter. I see the landscape as sort of a reflection of my mood or my interior landscape. But I also, at the same time, I see it as a reflection of society's values. We idealize it, we think of it as somewhere where we go for solace and rejuvenation, but at the same time, we exploit it. Everything in my work is about tension, whether it's painting and photography, whether it's abstraction and realism. I've always had a really strong affinity for the Hudson River school painters. And I've thought about them, and even like from their practice to their subject matter. And I always thought about like how they would go out into the landscape and they would make sketches, and they would go back to their studio and turn the sketches into this crazy, grand, idealized sketch of nature. And then they would just turn them into these epic paintings that were about the sublime. And at the time, in the 19th century, it, America was the new Eden. So in my practice, I think of myself as kind of going out into the landscape, and I'm creating a scene, a setting, and then I'm taking the photograph, I'm bringing it into Photoshop, and I'm doctoring it a little bit more, and then I'm making a print. I don't see that any different than like going out and making a sketch, it's just with new tools. As like a hands-on person, I think of myself as really analog, and I really like creating something out of nothing. I can kind of just lose myself in the work. I feel like it's what I should be doing.